Hello guys. Right, so I was planning on doing a video, I've been actually planning it for doing a few months, where I review my HP ZBook Studio J3. I don't know why they just call it the, the J3 or something. But um, what my idea was, was to, you know, use my overhead camera and I'll, you know, record from there and give you a close up. But I thought I'd do something a little bit less formal and just sit and talk about it and show you the good and the bad points about it. So, rundown is, uh, this is quite a powerful laptop, it's 15 inch, it's fairly light, it's about 2 kilograms I think, um, battery life isn't the best, but it's fairly cheap when compared to similar spec other laptops, especially when you buy it second hand, I bought it for about 900 odd pounds when it retailed at 2200, it's came down in price now though, it's come down about 1500, so it's actually dropped down in price, so overall thoughts of it are, it's kind of a mixed bag and um, it has the potential to be one of the best laptops I've had but it just fails and I'll just show you one of the many problems that I have this is you know this is just something that's happening here where you know I'm not seeing the toolbar it's all going messed up and you'd think that maybe this is an issue with connecting to another monitor but you can see it's still kind of messed up it's and you can see there. Now, I'm actually going to have problems even closing this down because of this. It's an absolute mess. So what I'm going to have to do is the old classic control delete, which when you're holding a camera, I'm using the... That's an absolute net. I can't even do that. Well, wait, I'll just turn it off. Um, which I know you shouldn't do, but what can you do in a situation like that? Um, okay, so when I've got it closed off, I'll just quickly show you the laptop. There it's there. It's actually one of the nicest laptops I've seen. Um, as I said, it's fairly light for a laptop that size. Um, you know, quite thin bezels and things like that. Very, very um, sexy. Um, now, along the sides, you've got a lot of ports. You can see there, there's a headphone jack. We've got USB 3.0. You've got HDMI. You've got two Thunderbolt 3. So, theoretically, they can deliver up to... 40 gigabytes per second, which is unreal. Um, you've got the power. Now, with Thunderbolt 3, you can actually charge the laptop, but that's only if your laptop is 100 watts or less. You know, this requires 150 watts. The adapter's 150, so I can't charge it just with the Thunderbolt cable, which is a shame because it'd be good to just, you know, leave Thunderbolt cables around. At the other side, I've got another two USB 3.0s. I've got an SD card in here, which, if I can get it out, you can hear it clicking there. So there's the SD card. Um, I've got an Ethernet and I've got a Kensington lock. So it's pretty healthy as far as ports go. And you can see I've... I was always using this on the go. I was sitting downstairs with it. I was... Whenever I went anywhere, putting my bag in, I would use it. But I've just kind of sat at my desk the last month and I've just been using it, you know, just kind of like a desktop almost. And... Um, it's it's a great it's a great laptop. I mean the keyboard's really good. It's backlit and all that. Um, the webcam's pretty bad as far as webcams go. Microphone is even worse, which is annoying because this is a premium laptop. It shouldn't be um, that bad, you know. A two thousand what's retailed at two thousand two hundred, uh, and yet the the webcam that they put on it isn't the best. But the microphone is really really awful, which is a shame because you know. This is from 2009, my iMac, and the, the microphone and the webcam on that are really good. So I don't know why they've scrimped out. And you can see, um, just <laughs> it's because I was reading an article recently talking about spyware, and all, uh, all these people were starting to block off the webcam, so I don't know if I'm being silly here, but that's what I've started doing. Um, right, so good things and bad things. In fact, what I can maybe do, if I can load up the HP Assistant, I can go through some of the specs. Um, now, in theory, this can power up two 4K monitors. It's not something I've tested yet. Um, it's something I'd like to test, but the Thunderbolt dock that I tried with it, it just didn't work. It just did not work at all. So I've not been able to do that. Um, right, if we go down here, you can see some of the specifications, right? Windows 10 Pro, 64 bit, it's an i7 6820HQ. So that's four cores, um, quad, it's quad core CPU, but it can go up to eight threads, whatever. 
2.7 gigahertz, so this is great for video encoding. 16 gigabytes of memory, but it can go up to 32 gigabytes, so that's something else I can uh, upgrade. It also has, it's got, I think it's the M2 slot they call it for storage, but there's a spare a hard drive slot in the back. I did a tutorial about that, showed you how showed you guys how to do it. That's something I can do as well. I can you know add more storage. But the, the hard drive on this is insanely fast. It's like half a half a gigabyte I believe it is. Um yeah. Uh, half a terabyte, sorry, half a gigabyte, what am I talking about? Yeah it's half a yeah five hundred and twelve gigabyte. It's very very fast. Um Okay, so you see here we've got the graphics. We've got Intel Graphics 530. It's 4K screen. That thing. It's beautiful. Um, NVIDIA Quadro M1000M. Uh, that's the other graphics card. It's 2 gigabytes on that card. Now that card's... For a business laptop, the, the graphics card's really, really good. But in general, it's not the best. Uh, speakers on this are actually quite good. Even though the webcam... And the microphone are pretty poor. The speakers on it are, for a laptop, actually pretty good. And I think they're branded um, Beats, I think. Oh no, Bang & Olufsen, not Beats, Bang & Olufsen. So you can see, if I load that up, there's Bang & Olufsen Audio. That's what comes built on it. They're not amazing. Um, but they're okay. And let me see. If I load up YouTube, maybe I could put on a song for you guys and I can show you. Oh, in fact... That won't work because I'd have to... Right, I'll, I'll do that in a second. Um, right, so other specs here. You can down AC power, blah, blah, blah. I'll get this out of the way. It's high performance. Now, it, it, it it's, can switch between both of the graphics cards. That's something it can do. Um, this is the thing. Right? I'm try, I was trying to show you... I just want to quickly show you the speakers. Copyright free music. You don't believe how bad it is for a YouTuber. I actually reviewed, um, what was it? I can't remember. It was like a massage thing or something. And it had a, like a tight two seconds of a jingle. And that jingle company flagged my video. So even though the video is 20, 30 minutes long, they can claim 100% of the profit. It's insane how it works. It really is crazy. Um, so what I need to do is change... Playback devices. So I've got it hooked up to my audio interface just now, but what I want to do is just change it to speakers. So I don't know how loud that's coming through. They sound okay, they're not amazing, but they're less tinny than a lot of other laptops and they're a little bit louder. They don't have dedicated volume buttons, you need to use the function buttons and then kind of go up and down like that, which the volume's going to pop over there. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So, um, this is a very, very quick video about this. You know, I realise I'm just kind of talking about a few things. Um, as far as how good this laptop is, it is a mixed bag. It is a mixed bag. Now, on paper, this should be the greatest laptop I've ever owned. It should, it's certainly the most powerful. But... You saw before that, you know, there was a problem with that, um, you know, the windows messing up. And this is the thing, this kind of thing is hap happening all the time. When I first got this laptop, it was it was failing all the time. The graphics card was messing up and, you know, I had to go to HP. They took about two months to do it. Worst customer service I've ever had in my life. They had about 10, 11 visits to my house. They cancelled several of them. And it was so bad that they actually sent me the Thunderbolt do dock to apologise, which um, didn't work. I actually crashed the computer, so that's something else is bad. But to their credit, they did actually send me a little bit of money to apologise for it. Now, I know a lot of you people outside the UK might think, well, you know, that's actually going above and beyond because I bought this from someone else. But warranties are transferable. When I mean, you buy something, even from another shop or, you know, used from another shop, it comes with a warranty. They need to honour it. And service was terrible. It's actually put me off ever buying anything from HP again. And I've bought HP laptops in the past. Um, I remember buying a little HP 2133. So that was basically without that laptop for a month or so. They kept coming back. They eventually got it working. But since they've replaced, they actually replaced the motherboard. They replaced the screen. They replaced everything. Still wouldn't work. But eventually got it working. Um, but since then, I'm still running into a huge amount of problems. 
and I'm talking about a huge amount of problems. But what I'll do briefly, if I can, guys, I'll just want to sit you down so I'm not wandering around. So, I'll turn this off. So, yeah, I ran into a huge amount of problems, right? Graphics uh, adapter, there was about, for about two weeks there, where it would constantly, the screen would just go off, it would constantly go off, constantly go off, and there was nothing I could do. I reinstalled all the graphics drivers for both graphics cards twice, I re rolled them back, did all that, and it kept crashing, my computer kept crashing, then it would just, you know, like a fatal error, and it would reboot. And eventually that seems to have gone away. I don't know what it was. Um, other people have reported the same problem. At the moment, the main th like that thing with the Windows thing happened a few times, but that's not a huge worry. The main worry just now is the Wi-Fi adapter. The Wi-Fi adapter, like every day, is going off two or three times. Now, that's a worry for me because I want to do more streams. I want to do more live streaming. You know, I work on the internet. I need to upload files. I need to access files. Being off the internet is, is a bigger issue for me than it is for other people because it means I'm not working. And it's going off constantly. It's constantly disabling, constantly disabled. There is a, a setting in Windows 10 where, and I think it was introduced to Windows 7, where you can, uh, it disables the Wi-Fi adapter to save energy. But switch that off, make sure it's always on for performance. Now, the thing is, you could actually argue that a lot of these issues, a lot of these issues are Windows 10's issues. You know, these are things that are, you know, Windows 10 fault. They're, they're not, they're nothing to do with HP. They're a problem of Microsoft. Um, but it's telling that I've got the Lenovo uh, X220. That's an old laptop from, like, say, six, seven years ago. I think it initially came with Vista, then it, they upgraded to Windows 7, and then it upgraded to Windows 10. I've never had any problems with that, with graphics adapters, with Wi-Fi adapters, with anything. So you might, you might say that a lot of the issues I'm experiencing after they fixed everything, you might be saying that a lot of those are Windows issues. But... I think a lot HP has to take a lot of the blame as well because um, you know that laptop I've got down the stairs is like seven years old, six, seven years old, and I've had zero problems with any of those issues, and I'm getting this every day with it. And from a productivity point of view, this thing is driving me nuts to the point where I'm ready to sell it. And it's a shame because if I can fix these issues, you know, this laptop will be great. Is it from a power point of view, from a performance point of view, it's great, but there's so many of these little issues and they come up again and again and again and again. Now, there might be some of you saying this is just a Windows issue, maybe, but I've searched online and there's a lot of other users who have said the same. In fact, this laptop has a very high return rate. I've seen a lot of people buy it and then a lot of people go online, complain about it and then return it. And um, I don't know what it is. Like, I check the HP support assistant thing there for updates a lot and there's not any updates for drivers, very, very rarely. And yet, when I go and manually check the drivers for, like, say, the graphics card and things like that, there's been updates there for months. So I don't know if HP have just completely dropped support for it. I don't know, but they just it just doesn't seem to be the, the whole system with HP as far as keeping it working well. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to work correctly. It's kind of a mixed bag, that's what, that's what I'm saying. But, you know... As far as a laptop goes, it has the potential to be one of the best laptops I've got. It is an absolute bargain from a second-hand point of view. It can power two 4K monitors. This is just a 1080p one. You know, I probably should buy another one. I've been looking at other ones, but that's doing me just now. But it can power two 4K monitors. Um, I don't know if it's full. I, don't, I think it's maybe just 24 frames per second or 30. I'm not sure, but it can do it. It can run, you know, ultra-wise, all that. It has the potential to be the best laptop ever, but there's so many issues with the Wi-Fi adapter, with graphics adapter, and, you know, the, the concern is that this isn't over. This is not over. There's going to be another, this is, you know, the back of my mind, there's not going to be, there's not been a few days, probably about three, four days is the most I've went without something happening, and it really is um, causing problems with, you know, the way I work and things like that. It's one of those things you kind of forget about it when it's working okay. You forget about it. You go, oh, I love this laptop. It's so powerful. You know, it's got a fantastic processor. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. I can upgrade it to 32 gigabytes. I can add more storage. It's fairly easy to actually replace the battery. Even though it's sealed at the bottom, it's fairly easy to open it up, replace the battery, 
add a new hard drive. I could do that in under five minutes. It's very easy to do. So, you know, battery life isn't amazing. You could probably get about four hours or so, maybe five if you're doing light work. If you're hammering like video encoding, you're lucky if you could pass two hours, not even as much as that. But for me, that isn't a big issue because I'm most of the time I'm plugged in anyway. I'm not going to coffee shops and things like that. So for me, that's not a big issue. But it's just a shame that HP, it's almost like they've went, you know, half the way. They've went quite a lot of the way. They've built this amazing machine and then they've passed it on to the support and service department that handles all the software and all that and they've just not bothered. Um, that's the way it feels to me. It just feels like it's unpolished. Uh, it should be good and I'm hoping it's going to be good. So depending on what day you catch me, this is a 5 out of 5 laptop or it's a 1 out of 5 laptop and that's you know basically the way you should really look at this it's it's just unreliable and maybe I've just been very unlucky maybe other people who have had this laptop have been fine but it is telling that I've had all these problems since the start and I'm not confident they're not going to go away that's the problem if I could get them fixed though I would actually run out and buy a, I would sell my iMac and I would buy a second one um, this is like off topic but my iMac you know that's from 2009-10 it's getting a little bit slow and I was looking at maybe replacing the SSD you're replacing the hard drive with an SSD but I'm probably at the point that I need to upgrade so if I'm going to upgrade rather you know just sell it and I'll buy a different situation a different situation a different solution then th if that was working better I would just buy another one so that's how much I like it when it works but because it doesn't, I'm, you know, I'm not going to go down that route. If it did, what I would do is have, I'd have one of them set there and have another one down the stairs. And I'd just use the laptops, you know, one down the stairs, one up the stairs. And I'd use it, connect to ultra wide monitors and things like that. That's probably the setup that I would use. It just doesn't work in though, this is the thing. Ah, so annoying. So, this has been my kind of informal look at the HP ZBook G3. Um, I've talked about this before in the past guys, uh, I did a tutorial on it and things like that and ran some, uh, did some other tests on it, but yeah, when it works, I'm hoping it's going to work, it is a fantastic laptop, there just seems to be, you know, HP support is horrendous, like I've used lots of different companies and HP is by far the worst company I've used before, much worse than Lenovo, Microsoft, you know, I returned the Surface 4 Pro, they returned a brand new one back in a week. This was months not being able to use my laptop because of how bad the service was, but they did eventually give me money. But to be honest, it might sound like they gave me a little bit of money, but the money that I lost by not being able to use my laptop is actually more. So, I've, you know, by skimping out, I've not saved money. Um, so, yeah, this has been the HP ZBook G3. It's a very powerful laptop. Probably not the best one for gaming, but for business, there's a lot to love about it. This is, you know, the new MacBook Pros, a lot of them, they're all underpowered, a lot of them, they're, they've only, they've not got quad core for a start, which means that they can't do video. Well, they can do video, but they can't do video well. This thing is fairly quick, as far as video's going. And the only thing about that is when you do start video encoding, in fact, sometimes when it's just sitting stationary, the fans on this are insane, like crazy insane. Like one of the loudest laptops, <laughs> it, sh it shouldn't be this loud. When you look at how thin it is, sometimes the fans are going when the CPU is at like four percent. Uh, if I bring up here, now you can see here some of the specs. It's four percent CPU. Like this thing ticks over. It's got so much power. I'm I'm not even chal challenging it really because of what I'm using. I'm not really testing it. I'm 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 really using. You know, it's only really when I'm doing video encoding that uh, that I'm actually pushing it but I'll quickly just see if I can encode in a video for you guys right and I'll show you what happens with the fans you will see it now it, it that thing as far as the fans go it's not a major issue normally because what happens is um, oh yeah, wait, I'll just find a video what would push uh, yeah, that's, well, that's, this is only the light strip the LED lights that I did um, yeah, with the fans, it doesn't, okay, yeah, the fans, so I keep jumping across here, but the fans isn't too much of a problem for me, because what I normally do is when I start encoding, I normally go downstairs and have a coffee or I have a break, 
and then when I come back the video is encoded but on occasion the fans just go on for no reason and it's one of the reasons why I've started using this in my videos because the other microphone over there I was using was picking up all the echo, it's picking up the fan noise and there's been a few times when the audio has been unusable so I just think you know if I just use a mic like this the audio quality is always 100% and I don't have to go back and do anything um, okay so what I'm going to do I'll export a file I'll just go through the same process I normally do for whatever reason that's not working right export come on I don't know why this is doing this. This is because I'm trying to show you guys a video. Right, that should load up now. There, here we go. So, match source. What I normally do is pick the YouTube 1080p setting. So this is just a 1080p video. It's not 4K. Um, I'll just put test. So what is it? It's just a 1.6 gigabyte file. You can see there, 1,597 megabyte and should I load up? yeah I'll load up I'll do it the same because I don't normally do export when you pick export you can actually keep using Premiere Pro so I'll do the Q and okay so we've got the Adobe Media Encoder here and so we should start seeing CPU going up a little bit when it starts going, it's just preparing the audio and things like that. Now, as far as video encoding goes, this thing is an absolute beast. This can encode videos about five times quicker than this. This is a quad-core i5. And you can see now, CPU is getting pushed at 100%. We've got hyper-threading. We've got up to 3.17 gigahertz there. And it's maybe not going to come through in the, in the video because I'm, I'm using a lav mic at the moment. But fans are actually quite quiet at the moment. Sometimes, though, the, the fans go so insane that you just have to <laughs> leave the room almost. But you can see, like, the so for that, that was like a 1.6 gigabyte video, 1080p, and it's going at, it says 25 minutes, but that's going to go down probably about 7 8 minutes. You can see the speed it's going down, it's going to be really quick. So from from a from for what I do, you know, YouTube video editing, that kind of thing, it's a fantastic laptop. It's just a shame. I know I keep saying that, but it is, it's just a shame that there's so many little problems that come along. I'm hoping some of these things are going to be addressed in a future update by HP, but I'm not I'm not confident. You know, at, what, at least twice a week as well, I get BIOS errors, and it doesn't update the BIOS. I've tried to do it manually, it doesn't work. It's just so many problems that you know, and I've updated BIOS, you know all the computers in my life, you know, I've always updated the BIOS myself and there's always network er errors, there's always these other things. It's driving me crazy. But it's a shame because when it actually works, which, you know, is most of the time, you know, if I'm working eight hours in a day, maybe seven hours or six hours at work, but for that one hour, it's normally when I'm doing something important like recording or uploading, it crashes or something goes off, the Wi-Fi ad adapter goes off, the screen crashes because of the graphics adapter issue. Uh, and it happens so many times that, you know, it's pushing me towards selling it and getting a different solution. So at the time, you've, this review is basically coming at a time where I'm kind of swaying. Um, when it works, it's 5 out of 5. I love this laptop. When it doesn't, I hate it. So that pretty much summarizes my opinion of the HP ZBook G3. If you get any questions about this laptop, uh, maybe you've seen it secondhand. Buying new, I would say, mm, I'd maybe be avoiding it and maybe looking towards maybe Dell, the XPS 15 or 13 or something. Um, I'm going to have to make a decision on this in the next month or two, whether it's worth selling it and buying something different. If I can figure out these issues, I'm keeping it for years. If I can't, it's getting sold. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I realise I've kind of waffled on at different times, but it's really, this is really for the people that are maybe considering this laptop. And... Hopefully I've given you an insight into why I'm crazy. This thing has been driving me crazy over the last few months. Um, until next time, thanks. Leave a comment if you've got any questions about it, and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll speak to you guys soon.